Ruling Tin Fist. So here are a few things to help you use the power of the purse not only to manage your expenses and outflow of cash, but actually help you save and redirect your cash into investments and your personal well-being. So one, let's start for guys that might be MGTOWs by circumstance, younger guys, maybe you're still dating or your purple pillars or you're just where you are maybe in college. First things first, don't even get into the habit of buying women's things. Okay? If you're already in that habit, ask yourself why. You know, I'm not talking, you know, buying your mother a card for her birthday. I'm talking about just randomly purchasing items for women, especially women you don't even know. There's no relationship, there's no friendship. Um don't do that. You know, don't buy drinks. Um, don't offer to rescue them when they've made mistakes. Again, at best, maybe you get a kiss on the cheek. Maybe you get a pat on the head. But unless there is some kind of equitable, equitable uh, trade for what you're doing, for example, you know, she helped you move, so you bought her lunch. You know, there's a, there's a trade. You know, there's a quid pro quo. This for that. Don't do it. <clears throat> for gentlemen that may be either cohabitating or, or or married, I think it gets more complicated the older you get and if you're in a relationship. If you're not in a relationship and you manage to avoid just paying for stuff uh, for women randomly, chances are by the time you get into your 30s, it'll become part of your habit and um, good uh, financial discipline. Those who really tend to get affected that I see are guys in my generation who've been married a while, they're grown, but they just have a system of doing what they believe that is their role to do as providers or being a man. It's a generational thing. Your wife doesn't have to have everything she asks for. Your girlfriend doesn't have to have everything she asks for. You can manage to have what you need, have her have what she needs, and have it be equitable, okay? So whatever she earns, well, maybe she doesn't even earn money. Maybe, you know, if she's your wife or your girlfriend, there's certain things that she brings to the relationship. Then that's her doing her part. So each person has whatever it is that they bring to the table in a relationship. As a man, you need to figure out what your the female you're involved with is bringing to the table. Like Barbarossa said in one of his videos, it doesn't matter what it is, but it needs to be something of tangible value that you can say, yes, okay, this is of um, tangible value to me, um, and whatever I'm giving in return is of equal value. Okay, that's the key point. Um, so I'm not saying just say, Oh, you know, I'm not taking care of you, and you know, I'm not doing anything for you. Look, it's not as simple as just saying, I'm cutting you off. You know, if you have a wife, if you have a girlfriend, you know, that'll just cause more drama than good. But just be systematic about it. Think about the process. If she's making $200 a week, and you're making $1,000 a week, she should be giving consideration equal to that two hundred dollars or something in kind so maybe she doesn't contribute to the household with her money but you know she makes sure the car gets fixed she makes sure the kids homework is done she makes sure the house is clean you know she cooks and i'm not saying traditional roles again the takeaway is that whatever you bring to the table whatever she brings to the table Okay, and whatever you're exchanging with each other, it must be equitable, equitable break based on what each individual brings to the table, so that neither party is feeling shortchanged. Typically, in our society, it's typically the men in terms of uh, the finances. So, I'm not saying blow up, your, blow up your household, but you know you can use the power of the purse to help manage um, your sanity and your expenses that make it clear, okay, if I'm putting this down as a man, 
you know, as a woman, what are you contributing? You know, if we're exchanging something for financial consideration, what are you bringing to the table? And what is the equity between what you're bringing and what I'm bringing? So, you guys out there, are you managing your business? Let a brother know. I'm off to the dojo. Doom, 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 doom.